because there's a lot of science tie-in in this book, uh, it, it just does spark some curiosity and exploration. Emily Sayo is an organic chemist and the author of The Science of Boys. It's a novel about a teenager named Emma who tries to fit in with the popular kids by pretending to be a scientific expert on boys. She's quite spunky, but she is a science nerd. She's slightly socially awkward, a little bit clumsy. But she loves life and she's just trying to get out there. Sayo lives in Richmond and writes about the modern teenage problems relating them to science. There is this chapter that brings all of us, uh, it unites all of us, which is a cell theory chapter. And it just talks about how we're all made up of the same basic units of life and that we all have our own struggles. And so that we should be kind and compassionate towards each other life would be better that way. <laughs> Sayo says she hopes her book makes science appeal to more kids. There's still a gender imbalance in the field of STEM, so that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And so it was important for me to have a female scientist in this book. There's actually a lot of publications that point to a disinterest in for girls um, as early as elementary school being not interested in science. The Society for Canadian Women in Science and Technology says there are still more men going into science. There's a severe lack of representation of women who, for example, look like me in science. Um, the second is that there's also an assumption that you need certain types of quote unquote, boy related skills to do well in certain science. Um, and so with those perception, it really affects and, and shapes what a girl thinks when they're that young. Tan says to address the lack of women in STEM, we need to change the way science is taught in schools. Finding some relevance to that, to what you're studying and also how that particular science is taught. If it's taught in a way where it's not relational at all to what the student is, um, uh, thinking about, then there's going to be a huge disconnect as well. And the author would like to see more women enter STEM. Diversity in the sciences is important because the more diverse the personnel, the more diverse the skill sets, the ideas, which only increases innovation and capacity. In Richmond, Angela Bauer, City News.